Okay, <clears throat> good morning friends and we are in Dollar General if you can tell by the green and the yellow stickers But <clears throat> we are doing a 5 off of 20 gain and a regular 5 off of 25 So let's get to grabbing the first thing we're gonna grab is the 24 count gain flings for $6.95 There are there's a $2 digital making them $4.95 The next thing we're going to grab is the big detergent down here for $13.95 there is no digital but I do have a three dollar paper coupon so 13 minus 3 is 10 so you're gonna pay ten dollars and ninety five cents for the hundred and thirty eight fluid ounce detergent the next thing you're going to grab is a bag of the flings for three dollars and ninety five cents I have a one dollar paper coupon making this two dollars and ninety five cents the last thing you're going to grab is the gang dryer sheet for one dollar in the dollar owl and there's 15 in here and that is going to make our five off of 25 and five off of 20 gain okay these for this transaction these are the five items that we are getting before all digitals and all paper coupons our total is going to be 25 dollars and 40 cents <clears throat> we are going to use the five off of 20 uh, five off 25 for Saturday, five off of 20 for gain, and then the two dollar digital for the gain fleeing. So, in a 24 account, we're going to use a three dollar paper coupon for the gain detergent, and then a one dollar paper coupon for the gain um, fleeing in the 14 count. And after all coupons and digitals at the five off of 20, five off of 25 for Saturday, we're going to pay nine dollars and 40 cents plus tax for these five items. Mind you, that's 13 dollars right there. So you're paying $9 for all of these. Let's go to our second scenario. Guys, for our next gang scenario, because this is gonna be on a second digital account. So the first gang option was on the first digital. The second gang option is on the another digital, okay? So we're gonna grab two of the gang flings. So for the gang flings that I grabbed, there's a $2 digital, they are $6.95, a $2 digital making them $4.95. And then for the other gang, I have a paper digit, a paper coupon for the same $2, making it $4.95. So we have two 24 count gang flings for $4.95. The next thing you're gonna grab is two of the 16, I mean 14 count gang flings for $3.95. For the two 14 count game flings at $3.95. I have two paper coupons taking a dollar off of each, making both of them $2.95 each. The next thing you're going to grab is the game fabric softener for $3.95. I have a $1 paper coupon making them $2.95 for one. All right, you guys, this is our second all gain digital account. It's not all digital, but it's all gain. So, we're going to use the 5 off of 25 for Saturday and the 5 off of 20 gain on a second digital account. And with that being said, we have the gain fleens for the $2 digital. We have another gain fleens for with a $2 paper coupon. The two of the 14 count gain fleens for with a dollar paper coupon for each. And the gain fabric softener for $3.95 with a dollar paper coupon for that one. Before all digitals and all paper coupons, my total is going to be $25.75. After the 5 off of 25, the 5 off of 20 gain, and the $2 digital, and the 4 paper coupons, my total is going to be $8.75 for everything that you see here. Alright you guys, let's go on to transaction number 3. Okay, you guys for the third gain transaction on a third digital account we're going to grab one of the 24 count gain flings for $6.95 there's a $2 digital making them $4.95 and we're going to grab one of the gain flings in the 14 count for $3.95 there's a $1 paper coupon that I have making them $2.95 we're gonna grab a fabric softener for $3.95. I have a $1 paper coupon, making them $2.95. And last but not least, we're gonna grab two of the Gain Scented Febreze plug-in refill containers for $5 a piece. You're gonna grab two of them because the three off of two digital is attaching to them, making them, instead of two for 10, it'll be two for seven. Let's go ahead and grab two of these, make sure they're Gain Scented. Okay, so before all digitals using the 5 off of 25 and 5 off of 20 gain, my total for this transaction is 
85 cents for everything that you see here we're using a two dollar digital for the 24 count game flings a one dollar paper coupon for the 14 count flings a one dollar coupon for the game fabric softener and a three off of two digital coupon for the um, game plugins the total is 25.85 before all digitals and before all coupons after the 5 off of 25 for Saturday and the 5 off of 20 for game, the two digital coupons, the $2 for the flings and the $3 for the plugins, the two paper coupons, my total should come to $8.85 plus tax. And we're going to do our last game transaction. This is our fourth game transaction that we're going to do. So our last one, we're going to get, we're going to grab one of the 24 count game fleas as you already know 6.95 there's a two dollar digital making them four dollars and 95 cents the next thing we're going to grab is two of the 14 count game fleas for three dollars and 95 cents i have two one dollar paper coupons making them 2.95 for each the last thing we're going to grab is two of the Febreze plugins for five dollars a piece that makes them two for ten you're going to use the three off of two digital making them two for seven Alrighty, this is our fourth gain transaction before all digitals and all paper coupons. Our total is going to be $25.85. We're going to use the 5 off of 25 for Saturday, the 5 off of 20 for gain, and then we're going to use the $2 digital for the 24 count gain flings, two paper coupons for the 14 count gain flings, and then the 3 off of 2 digital for the gain for Breeze plugins. After all digitals, including the 5 off of 25 for Saturday and the 5 off of 20 gain, our total after all coupons is going to be $8.85 for this transaction. Hey friends, we're going to do our last and final fifth transaction which is going to be the 5 off of 25 no gain i promise besides these plugins <laughs> we're going to do we're going to grab two of these plugins they're five dollars a piece you're going to clip the three off of two digital making them two for seven okay i'm gonna have to do the five off of 25 at another store because the main thing that I want is the Nivea lotion and they're out so we're gonna scratch that but we're gonna do all our gain couponing all our gain transactions now so let's go check out yay okay you guys we got a handful of receipts let's go through each transaction so transaction one which is right here we paid eleven dollars and 42 cents for six items but we got a dollar and seventy and seven cent tax so we really paid about nine dollars plus tax nine yeah nine dollars plus tax ten dollars plus tax for all six items here is all the coupons the five off of 25 the five off of 20 the paper coupons that i used are all there so that is the first transaction which i think we did great we had a total savings of doo -doo -doo. we saved fifteen dollars in savings fifteen dollars in savings for the second transaction which was here we paid for this one we paid twelve dollars and some change for this one after tax so about eleven dollars and some change before tax and the reason why is you can see my $2 digital did not come off. Like, Game Flings, $3, the $1, and that the $3 was the paper coupon that I used. So, and the $1 was paper coupon, and then the 5 off of 25, and the 5 off of 20 came off. But my $2 digital did not come off. I don't know if I just didn't have it on this account and I thought I did, but I wrote out all my transactions, which made this go a lot quicker than it would than I usually do. But the $2 digital did not come off. I thought I checked it to make sure it was clipped, but whatever. So it was $2 more than I expected to pay. Why am I for, why am I cutting it off prior to the price we paid? Okay. okay you guys i forgot to add that on two of the transactions if you do the calculations it comes up to 24 dollars and some change so i had to go add the register i had to add i don't have it with me but it's a piece of 
55 cent candy that um, I grabbed at the register to make my total $25. So for two of the transactions, you have to add a piece of candy for no more than a dollar to your transaction to get it to 25 because I miscalculated, but I figured it out at the register, added the 50 cent candy, and it brought my total to 25, and I got the five off of 20, and the five off of 25 for two of the transactions. I can't remember which transaction it is. I'm thinking it is, I'm looking now, oh, it was the transaction with the, ooh, I'm dropping the papers. Hold on, you guys, I'm looking. It was the transaction with the, the one that had the two game, um, for Breeze plugins. So that transaction I had to add the 55, the um, 50 cent candy to. <clears throat> And so both transactions with the Febreze plugs, I had to add the um, 55 cents to. So as you can see, I had to add the 55 cent marshmallow candy to it and to this trend. Oh, it's upside down. I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> I don't know why it looked upside down to me, but it looked, okay, I don't know. But I had to add 50, um, 50 cent candy to the transactions with the, with the Febreze plugs. So both transactions with the Febreze plugs. I added um, 50 cent candy to it to get the total to 25 because I miscalculated. But other than that, everything else went smoothly. Okay, you guys. Okay, so I did the calculations and I the total before any couponing was $107 and some change. With couponing, I paid $42 and some change for my for every all of the game that i got it was a, worth a hundred and something dollars i paid 42 dollars for all the game that i have with coupons with a total savings of almost 60 dollars almost 60 dollars you guys whoop 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 okay so i want to thank you guys for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe bye